Poor connection, of course, of course, we got a poor connection here. But of course. LeBron, LeBron James addresses vandalism of his home. Racism. What's up, Mitchell? My man. I don't know how many people are on here that doesn't tell me because it says poor connection. I don't understand how that's possible. But that's what we got. Oh, I just saw we got a couple of people. Yeah, so just though I do a little live hangout, we're going to do a little face off here. We're going to put, and I'm, by the way, these, um, these Makita batteries, man, these 12 volts, they charge so quick. Obviously, they're 1.5 and 2.0s, but um, they charge super quick. Just, uh, you know, anyone's looking to get into this Makita 12 volt platform. Um, yeah, just thought I'd do a little live hangout. I'm just about to shoot these two going at it. And I'm, and I'm telling you, what's up, Jamie? What's going on, Jason? Hey, Jason, I haven't seen you in a while. What's up, man? Yeah, the Makitas are good, bro. These 12 volts are awesome, Mitchell. Um, but, you know, I've been playing around. I've used this one, I mean, a lot. So I kind of know. Hey, what's up, Jamie? What's going on to Roy Rogers over there? It's still, it's still staying open or what? What do we got going on? But anyway, oh yeah, so like I said, I, I've, I've used this one quite a bit, and I've been using this one, you know, just farting around with it a little bit, drilling some lags, some screws. It's going to be a tough, you know, it, it comes down to your, your price point, guys, with these two. I mean, great, great um, impact driver, this Makita 12 volt, but we're going we're gonna to test it a little bit. We're, we're going to put these two up against each other and see if it's worth that substantial increase for the brushless kit. Now, obviously, you get a couple features that the brushed versions don't have. But, you know, strictly power-wise, just doing stuff that you're going to be doing with it. Hey, what's up, Hectic? Nick HD. Uh, sorry, I can't watch live at work at night. Yeah. Do I like it better than the Milwaukee? uh it's tough it's a tough call you know i like the way the makitas feel my hand. you know what it is i think these makita 12 volts are more of a true 12 volt you know the thing with the milwaukee's is you know they they're always the most powerful kind of to a degree in pretty much every tool that they make they're just always a step ahead you know they're their main you know draw to their brand and to their platform is the power um but you know and bringing it into their 12 volt um you know they're they're big they're they're kind of big 12 volt now, i'm not saying all their tools but you know their impacts their drills they're kind of big um let's uh let's have some fun a little Let's see what we got going down here. All right, so like here's the fuel drill. Let me see if I can get a battery. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. So how's everybody been there, man? Good? Well, you got to be. All right, so, you know, obviously drills are bigger than impacts, but, I mean, look at the size of this drill. 
you know, and that's why not just saying in general, but like I don't really use drills too much anymore. You know, with all the I, I say it a million times with all these bits now. I mean, I'm not saying the drill is getting obsolete. Uh, for many trades, you have to use a drill, but you know, impacts are just so versatile these days. Um, and here's their other drill. Actually, their brushed version drill is smaller than their brushless. So, that, you know, that, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Makita seems to be more... Yeah. I definitely... Which one charges faster? Eh. You know, obviously, 12 volt wise, probably the, the uh, Milwaukee with the rapid charger. Uh, I mean, these things charge quick. Makita's, uh, you know, Makita's um, chargers have always been a step ahead of the pack. Like these chargers here, man. I mean, they can charge a, a four amp hour battery in like 40 minutes. And they, these have been out for six, seven years. So, you know, they're a little loud. They got the cooling fan in it. But, you know, these new rapid chargers, I, I have the old one up here. They're good. I mean, it, it's really not. It's, it's a couple minutes between the two, I'm sure. It's nothing drastic. But, um, you know. They're kind of big here. No problem, Nick. It's, you know, I'm sure I can time it out. I want to do a whole battery type of video one of these days. Like a, just put everyone on when it's dead. I mean, I got all, I got everything here. And maybe we'll do something like that. But, um, yeah, so that, that that's, you know, I can pull out a drill. I mean, well, here's a Ryobi Impact. Impact wrench, you know, an older one, but... I mean, it's the same size as, as an impact wrench. Um, you know, they're, I don't know. And this is a great drill, don't get me wrong, I, you know. But you have to, you, if you're looking for, you know, the thing with 12 volt with me is you want it to be small. You want it to be compact. You want it to be light. And uh, what's up, Carl B.? I'm looking at getting in the Milwaukee Rat. Yeah, this thing. See, that's the thing. I mean, when you ask me what I like better, you know, it's tough to not go with Milwaukee because they have so many freaking tools. I mean, Makita's getting there. They're adding a lot of great stuff. You know, and it's a lot of the stuff that they're coming out with is just a blue of their old white platform. You know, I mean, a lot of the tools are the same. You know, the uh, circular saw. I saw the little um, multi-tool there. So they're very similar. They're just, they just kind of updated it with their new battery platform. And that was the killer of that old Makita White. You only had a, uh, you know, a 1.3 amp hour battery. Uh, I mean, you can't. What are you going to do with that? So that was the big fall of, you know, the old Makita White platform. But, um, you know, and that's why I like the Bosch too. I mean, there, there's a lot of good platforms in this 12 volt. It's really tough. You know, you really, you know, when you're looking to get into one of these 12 volt platforms, this is where you really got to do the work. You know, with 18 volt, I mean, every company has a lot of different tools, pretty much everything in their spectrum. But when it comes to these 12 volts, you kind of got to see with what you want. You know, do you want this ratchet in a 12 volt? You know, they make it with an 18 um, I think Makita also makes something similar with an 18, one of these ratchets. You know, if you want a more powerful circular saw, you know, Milwaukee has a 5 and I think 3 8 circular saw. That I mean, you can do so much more with than that little 3 and 3 8 which I love. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, you kind of have to figure out what you want to use it for. You know what I'm saying? You know, comfortability-wise, hey, man, I know I just got here, but another semi-rolled in the shop, so I have to keep... Hey, no problem, Mitchell. Thanks for stopping by, bud. Definitely. Um, you know, I should really, when I do with these live vids, is kind of tell you in the morning that I'm going to be on at a certain time. I kind of just decided, hey, because I'm about to kind of put the do a, a little video on these two for you. Hopefully, I can get most of it done tonight. You know, I want to do it with different... You know, different size lags. Maybe doing it with a couple different screws. 
Um, but I don't, I don't think you're going to see too much of a difference power-wise. You know, it's, I'm not saying the brush version. Hey, what's up, Beantown boy? Jim, Jim Bush. Yeah, he has a lot. Jim Bush has a lot. What's up, Tool? What sold me on Milwaukee? I'm told that the heat's up their jacket. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, Milwaukee just has a lot to offer. That's the main thing. So, you know, it's hard to really recommend any other brand. Hey, Jason. Maybe an Instagram. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, Jason. I'm going to do another giveaway next week. Um, not going to be, you know, anything too crazy, but I think I'm going to do something maybe with the Instagram. You know, I kind of done one with the website. I've done a, like three or four with, you know, the, the whole YouTube thing, but I haven't really done it on Instagram. So I might do something with that, but, you know, I got to think about how I'm going to do it, you know, but, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, you know, just doing a little live hangout here, the battery life is sick, and the impact is phenomenal, yeah, well, uh, the Milwaukee 12 volt, yeah, the one, the fuel, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beast, man, and I'll tell you what, Milwaukee has, with the Milwaukee fuel, they have a 12 volt impact wrench, you know, it's 1400 inch pounds, nothing crazy, but I'm telling you, it's a real handy, compact impact driver. But, you know, that's where you kind of got to use your head a little bit. Like if you're in their 18-volt version, they have that. I'm not talking about the mid-torque. They have, you know, the one I've done a video on here. The, um, I think it's the two, oh man, what one is it? You know, it's the regular, oh, I could probably find it on here. Yeah, right. Right here. There it is. The 26522. You know, you got 220 foot pounds, and I'm telling you, it's about the same size as the 12 volt. But, I mean, you're getting so much more power with this um, impact wrench. I'm sorry, it's not focusing that good. There we go. So, you know. It's hard with the 12 volt. Um, what is my favorite 12 volt platform? Um, hey, what's up, Elliot? What's going on, buddy? Glad to see you. Um, I don't know. It's tough. Like, if I had to grab an impact and I can only take one with me, I take this impact. If I, you know, had to take a. Um, you know, a circular saw, you know, I'd probably take the Milwaukee. It's, you know, a five and three eighths uh, circular saw. I'm going to be able to do a lot more with it. You know, it's, it's, it's tough with the 12 volts, you know, and the thing is these 18 volts now are so s small. And I mean, I, I can show you, I mean, here, this is going to be a great comparison for you. And I can sum it up with this. This will put everyone to sleep. I got to get this out to my man, Luigi. I'm sorry, Luigi. I'm just busy. I'll get it out to you, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, yeah. All right. So let me do a little rearranging, but this should sum it up boys when it comes to these 12 volts. So I've been getting a lot of questions on them and you know, it, it, they're great tools, man. Oh, no. That's not the same. I thought I could not wasn't going to have to dig everything out, but of course I'm going to have to. Oh. Well, you know what? I'm going to... Yeah, I can show you with this older DeWalt. It's still in here. Yeah. No. Oh, son of a bitch. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, uh, I can show you with the D with the DC uh, eight eight five here, right? Is this the eight eight five? Huh? Give me the eight eight five. Where's the eight eight five? I don't want to dig all that shit out. Come on, man. What do we got in here?
All right. What I was going to show you. I don't know how the hell. I mean, I got to take everything freaking out here, man. Oh, come on. What the freak is it? Wait, I might have something going on. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Mother, mother, mother. Tool joint. Battery Christmas. You know it, man. I'll tell you, though, it's great because I'm using Milwaukee's outdoor power line, man, and I'm running through these batteries like crazy. I got to show you the whole setup that I'm, I'm doing. It's really a great, great video. I just got to kind of do it. You know, I got the DeWalt. Uh, the DeWalt. Sign up. Yeah, Bean Town, we got some tools here, man. Um, you know, I got the DeWalt power station there, 1800 watts, and I hook up the Milwaukee six bay charger, and I've been using it for three weeks now, and I haven't had to recharge the power station once, and I still got like two bars on four amp hour batteries. Now I'm using two sixes, the two flex volts, a five and a four, but you're only as strong as your weakest link. Hey, Steve Jobs, what's up? All right, so, all right, perfect example right here. All right, boys, you got your Milwaukee here, and you got your Makita 12 volt. See what I'm saying? This is like seeing a high-end version of my shop. Thanks, Andrew, appreciate that. Steve, yeah, Bean Town. But guys, this is what it comes down to right here. And actually, let me make this more even. I mean, the Milwaukee Fuel 18 volt is actually a little bit smaller. Now, it's a, it's a little bit thicker, but now if I had a slim pack here, I'd be able to show you. I got a five, let's, let's see. But, so, you know, it's, obviously it's a little bit taller here, but I'm going to try to, that probably wasn't a good idea, but, yeah, Milwaukee, I got to do that video, Steve, that is what I really have to, I have to do those, that's like number one priority, um, but you could see, it was probably better without the battery with this Milwaukee here. Take a look at this battery. Ain't that nice? All right. So, um, like I said, it's really tough to invent. Now, like I said, you know, we a lot of people. Why? Why would you get this? Why would you get that when you can get this? And the Milwaukee. Uh, this set now is two ninety nine, and you get a free blower, a free Milwaukee blower, Nightbird. Yeah, a little bit, little bit thicker, Jason. Um, you know, it's definitely, and, it, and this is probably a little bit lighter. But as you can see, I mean, I don't know. You know, if you're a tool guy and you love tools, you're gonna love getting these 12 volt tools. But if you're on a like a, you know, you're really not into the whole tool. You know, people who love tools who, who are probably watching this right now, we're tool fanatics. The answer is buy every kind. That's the only, Jason. That that's what it's about. You know, when a new pair of uh, you know when a new comic book comes out, some of these comic book guys they got a hundred of them, but you know they want the latest edition. These guys who collect these basketball sneakers, the LeBron James, oh, they got to get the Kobe, they got to get uh, the uh, Stephen Curry. So you know, and I'm not saying obviously with with tools. I mean you're going to be able to use these and they're going to make you money and they're going to produce. But, you know, the only reason I'm kind of saying this is, um, you know, mm -hmm. Texas coming in, I'm sorry. 
you know, if you're on a fixed budget or you kind of don't want a lot of tools, you just want something that is going to be able to produce for you. And, you know, it's really hard these days to invest in a 12 volt platform is what I'm trying to say. You know, I did that video on the Makita and a lot of you guys liked it. and I, That's awesome. I appreciate that. Um, but, you know, I don't want it to sound like I'm a salesman for these Makitas, 12 volts, and I think it's the best thing to do. And I don't think I did in the video, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm trying to be, you know, have, it's common sense, you know. You're going to get more battery time out of this, more run time. You know, not that you would ever slap a 9 amp hour battery on this, but, you know, you could. Um, and I'm, I'm talking even, this isn't just about the Makita either. This is about, because this is like the, one of the smallest 12 volts you can get. And, I mean, look at the difference here. And this Milwaukee is really no different than the uh, DeWalt Impact. Um, actually, Makita has, the new Makita Impact driver is tiny. So... You know, you're gonna make it might be a little bit thinner to get the 12 volts, and it might be a little bit lighter, but it's hard for me to recommend any 12 volt, um, you know, impact or drill. Now, there's obviously 12 volt things that make a lot more sense. You know, we talked about the heated jacket. You don't want to walk around with an 18, a five amp hour, 18 volt battery in your heated jacket. The 12 volts are the way to go. So. I'm not saying don't invest in a 12 volt platform because there's a lot of good things in there. You know, a lot of these lights that are real tiny. Um, and like I said, this thing is probably one of my favorite tools in the world. And I don't think I would like it as much in an 18 volt platform because I've seen it. it's, it's bigger, it's wider. You know, you got the big battery hanging out. And that's the one thing about the torpedo batteries too. You know, I kind of do like the slide-ons. I wasn't a big fan of them. Um, you know, if you look at my older videos, I said, yeah, I kind of just like the torpedo, but the fact that you can put these little gauges on, you know, even the two amp hour batteries. Now, um, maybe there's a way that these torpedo batteries can get, you know, things on. I don't, I don't know, but you know, it, it's, it's very close, you know, they, it doesn't bother me either way, but you know, with something like this ratchet, that torpedo battery is really awesome. You know, because I, like I said, they make this in an 18 volt. And yeah, you're going to get a little bit more power out of it. But with something like this, you don't really, you know, a lot of the times I'm not even really using the, um, you know, the ratchet itself, the electric, uh, the, the motor in this ratchet. You know, I'm just cranking it myself. But the fact that once you kind of get it loose, you can, burr, burr, you know. So that's what, you know, just point of this video and I, I'm actually going to rename it. You know, I did the hangout. It's going to be like just, you know, a 12 volt. Is it worth kind of investing in? And, you know, my answer is absolutely. But Craftsman Ratchet, eh, battery life and aeronomics is what, yeah. No, I mean, has anyone tried the bandsaw? I haven't used the bandsaw. Their jigsaw is absolutely amazing. I have both the M18 and M12. Yeah. The uh, M12 fits in your pocket, the fuel. Yeah. You know, but, I mean, this can fit in your back pocket, too. I mean, this thing is tiny. And, you know, with impacts, sometimes you need power. And, I don't know. It's it's close. It's, it's I use these all the time, though. So, I don't, you know, I'm just saying. This is strictly, uh, Jamie... And you make perfect sense. You're put that right there is the best thing. Now you have the M18 and you have the M12, but you know what? When you're in a rush, you have the M12. You you show it. Yeah, I I I definitely have it. Where it is, I have no idea. I got so much shit in these boxes here, in there. Um, but uh. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a little bit, I mean, it's, it's way bigger than this. I'd say it's a little bit bigger than this, to be honest with you, too. I mean, it might be the same size as this one, but... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to this. Is it smaller than this? Yeah, I mean, the weight is what you feel the difference in. Because then you got to put the big battery on it, so... You know, weight is the big thing. It's not really the size. 
it's the weight you're going to feel more. So, like, when Jamie says that, you know, you can just put it in your pocket and it's really light. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, there's a lot of advantages to the 12-volt platform. But getting back to it, like I said, if you're not really... You know, you just want one thing. You're a DIY guy. You're just bought a house. I don't think the 12 volt is, even though it makes more sense, because you really don't need all that power. And yeah, you know, it's 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 really what the point is. Is I don't know. Get what you like, because I'm kind of thinking about stuff, and you know, uh, this, and then you kind of think of it. Yeah, you don't really need that much power. But, you know, when it comes to that, though, you probably don't need, like, this brush. See, that, that's the thing, too. You know, for this Makita brushless set, 179 bucks, you can get, you know, this set for 299 with a brushless hammer drill, two 5-amp-hour batteries, and a Milwaukee blower. So, you know, a lot of see Makita is that little, you know, you're going to pay a little bit more. For the Makita name. And that's why I like too. I like to see how this comes out here. I like how that kind of like. Oh yeah it comes out. And on this one. It, not really. You know it's just really not. As. As out. But. Yeah, this is, a, this is a, a great one. You know like I said. If you're a homeowner. You want to get in a 12 volt platform. For 99 bucks. Around the holidays. You get this little kit with the uh, drill. I mean, you're ready to rock. You get this nice little charger here. So, yeah. And you know what, Jason, when it comes down to it, a lot of these homeowner guys who do, they're going to, hey, Caravaggio. Now, I've done a lot of these. You kidding me? I wish uh, this, this definitely isn't my first one. But I love doing them because it doesn't take up space on my phone and the editing and all that but and i get to answer some of your questions and just say what's up and what's going on what's new what did you get how do you like it um but uh you know jamie what most people are going to do jason is you know they're going to get the ryobi set you know you don't know how many of my friends that you know are just regular salesmen or you know they work their nine to five jobs and you go through their toolbox jamie and yeah jamie's here too they're going to have the ryobi they're going to have Ryobi stuff all over the place. Hey, bro, do you have a link for that Milwaukee set for $2.99 or is it in store only? Actually, I think it's online only, buddy. What's your name? Uh, I've actually seen you a lot and I don't know your name, but that Milwaukee is a beast, handles the job every single time. Yeah, this, you know, I haven't used that new DeWalt. A lot of people, hey, Tony, what's up? All right. Uh, I really should, and I really should put these two against each other. The thing is, this is this is pretty old now. This has been out a good three, three years now. Um, they've made some minor changes to it, I believe, but um, you know, it's still it's still number one in my book. You know what? And a lot of there's a couple new Makitas that have come out. Makita's really got into the whole impact driver thing recently. Um, and Milwaukee's mm -hmm. just, they still has, have had this one out here, but I think they might have uh, the 2753. I don't know if this might, like I said, I got this one a while ago, but, um, yeah, Jamie. So like I said, you know, a lot of your DIY, I'm sure your friends, Jamie and your friends, Tony and your friends, Jay Baker, the normal nine to five guys that don't give a shit about tools. You look in their toolbox, you're going to see a lot of Ryobi. You're going to see probably a lot of Craftsman. You're going to see a lot of Harbor Freight. Or you're going to see, you know, a lot of maybe some Rigid stuff. You know, Rigid's becoming just so freaking popular. Um, so, you know, once that whole, you know, LSA thing has just catapulted them. And they've come out with some good stuff, too. Don't get me wrong, but... Um, you know, with Rigid, they don't have anything that is better than Makita. They don't have anything that's better than Milwaukee, in, in my mind. But, obviously, there is a big price difference. But, you know, they're not really that cheap. They do have a lot of sales. You know, so does Milwaukee, obviously. Uh, Makita really doesn't have too many. Uh, Bosch really doesn't have too many. Um, as an AJ, as a, I kept the red. Yeah, and that's what it's about, man. 
is the deal I'm looking at Home Depot. All right, Tony, yeah, it's it's two ninety nine, correct? And you get a free blower, or you can get one with a free battery, a five amp hour battery, I believe. Um, so, you know, this is the shit I hate because now I got to put all this shit back. Um, you know, but I'm probably gonna give this away too, guys. So. Anyone who wants a brushless DeWalt, stand by. Because I'm probably going to give this away for you. No, there's one with the 2.5 and a 4. Yeah, I thought so. So, yeah, it's not the full one. But you know what? To get a, a, a 2 amp hour battery and a 4 um, for two ninety nine with a blower, I'd go for that. I, I think... With the uh, two fives, it's still three ninety nine. So you got to ask yourself: Is it worth an extra hundred bucks to get two of these five amp hour batteries? Now you're still going to get a two and a four, but is it worth the extra hundred dollars to get two of these five amp hour batteries and lose a hundred and sixty nine dollar blower? Also, so you know that again, common sense, guys. But a lot of people might want these 5 amp hour batteries. I have probably around 15 of these batteries. So, but it's only 369. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jamie, I was a plumber too today right after I changed an oil tank. I'm down. Yeah, I got something that's going to be pretty cool hopefully and it's I don't even want to talk about it cuz it might not happen and it's really something big. But we're going to see what happens. But, um, yeah, I don't want to even, but, so that's really about it, guys. I've been on for 32 minutes. Um, so like I said, we're just, this is just for you guys that maybe you're looking to get into a 12 volt platform. And, you know, I, I, I think that the brushless is going to win, but I, I gotta, you gotta, you know, think that the little extra in performance is worth the extra money so you know a lot of you people don't care about brushless well a lot of you guys do I, you know that's what it is the people who are watching here right now are just tool guys and no matter what i say and they're smart because they're like me I, I would pay for the brushless you know you got the assist you got the different speeds but you know i want to put the brush out there you know i'm a brushed I think brush kind of get a bad name now. Everything is all oh, I want, but the brush, you go on Instagram. You know, you know what would really be good is if they made it in a brushless, you know. It's like, eh, okay. I mean, is it going to perform really, 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 really much better? But, so that's about it. Um, what's up, Kevin? What's the word? I got the 12 volt Makita. Oh, you got this one? I forget Dan, right? 2000 C Nice. Dan or Pete. Who dies with the most tool? When, oh, yeah, forget it. You know, that's the one thing, man. You know, I talked about this. I got this little pole saw here. I loved it. This thing made me so much freaking money. And the battery is just about you know it doesn't you know i might get 10 minutes out of it, it at not even five minutes I, I went to go look if i can get another battery for it and they don't make them anymore so this thing is worth absolutely nothing and i'm sure one day when i'm dead which probably will be not too long my son once these batteries die they're gonna die with it because you won't be able to use it. So that's the thing with the tool companies got you. They got you with the batteries. But um, amen and Chris and yeah, Chris, that's it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you yeah, did. This is a great one, man. I, I talked about this. I built a shed with this, this um, impact and the 12 volt drill, and I mean it was just plenty of power. Did everything I asked it to. Um, I love it. My favorite brush, you know, it's, 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 you know, I got my favorite brushed impact here and I got my favorite brushless here. So people ask me what I like better. It's just the impacts I like better. 
Um, I haven't played with the new brushless drill. So, um, hey, Kevin. We have a local shop that we... Yeah, that's a good point. You know what? You're right. But who knows how long they're going to have those kind of cells. I mean, I'm not talking about, you know, in five years. But, you know, 20 years down the road. Who knows? I, I hopefully, you know... They will still make it. You know, Milwaukee still makes those 28-volt batteries. And you know what? Makita still makes the... Um, I don't know how long they've been sitting at Home Depot for. But, um, you know, they still have those old torpedo batteries for their 12-volt. So, you know, they're still making them. And I'm glad that they do. I mean, because you have to make them at least five years after you stop making the platform or the tool. Because, you know, a lot of people invest a lot of money into these tools. And, you know, you might just, you know, kind of like DeWalt, they kind of abandoned their 12-volt line. Um, but they still make batteries for it. Um, and they still sell them. Like, they sell a shitload of them. Um, you know, I don't know what they're doing. They're really concentrating on that FlexVolt stuff. Um, you know, what did you guys hear about the FlexVolt? I've, I, I've been hearing different, you know, you mind if I sit down here, guys? I got to Oh, yeah. I'm... Worked like a maniac today. We had rain the last two days, and oh, jeez, just oh, yeah. So, what do you guys heard about the uh, Flex Vault? Anything? Uh... Oh, shoot. What? Uh, anything? Um... You know, I heard different things. You know, it's doing pretty well. I heard stuff. Is anybody? I think I did. I lose you. I think I lost. Oh, yeah, the wall is going nuts, man. They bought Irwin. They bought the Craftsman. A certain part of the Craftsman line name, you know, Porta Cable, obviously a couple years ago. But um, I don't know. I don't. I don't. They were really on a roll there for a while. Um, I don't know. Just wanting to know what you guys have heard. DeWalt, Lennox, Craftsman, yep. <clears throat> Irwin, also, Steve Jobs. Um, but, alright. I guess no one knows too much about the, the whole DeWalt thing either. Great sockets right here, though, man. Still my favorite. You know, I kind of did a video a year ago about the DeWalt and the Bosch. And I was like, eh, you know, because the Bosch were pretty much half the price. But, they, I mean... If you're looking for a nice value set of sockets, the Bosch is, is good is a good set, but these are, are better sockets. But so if you want better sockets and you're willing to pay, I think you get these are like 37, and I think you can get the Bosch for like 23 to 24. I mean, 13, 14 dollar difference. Um, you know, these are a little bit better, but I have only tried the Flex Vault at a counter day, and I like it. But I own 12. Yeah. You know, that's what I've kind of been hearing too. You know, a lot of people are really impressed with the power of the Flex Vault. But, it, you know, in this day and age, a lot of people have have bought into, you know, their 20 volt line. You know, or they have Milwaukee, or they have Makita, or they have. So they kind of have to start over. You know, you might have a couple DeWalt batteries from a couple years ago in a kit, but. Milwaukee's. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and that's why I think Milwaukee, I, I really respect them. I love them. Um, you know, that whole outdoor, I say it all the time, the uh, outdoor power equipment line. For them to not do what everyone else was doing, guys, what the norm was. You know, everyone in this outdoor power equipment line, they're running with 40 volt, 56 volt, 80 volt. There's somebody out now with a 96 volt platform. They stuck with the 18 volt platform, and they made two tremendous to tools. One of them being the string trimmer, uh, an absolute. Like I said, I I do lawn care. I have my own lawn care company, and the people now, the the professionals who are using this Milwaukee string trimmer, are absolutely blown away with it. Um, and the hedge trimmer is right behind it. It's a really nice, um, you know, hedge trimmer. 
But you know what the honest truth is? The the DeWalt 20 volt hedge trimmer is also awesome. So, but you know, they've DeWalt has left it, you know, they went to a 40 volt. Now they're doing a, you know, obviously the flex volt and you know, they're heavy as hell. The flex volt, I got the, the actually I should tell you a couple of the, of the reviews that I'm doing soon. I got the DeWalt flex volt blower. Um, I just really took it out of the box real quick. It is so goddamn heavy, but that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, blowers are tough, so I don't want to... That's why I say two of the tools, and their blower is fine. The, the Milwaukee blower is fine, but blowers are just not great with lithium-ion technology. But um, I really appreciate the Makita 36 volt that used... Yeah, well, I got a whole bunch of those, buddy. Uh, right here is my 36 volt chainsaw to actually today i used their blower I, I think their blower now it's 36 volt but i'm going to say it's 18 volt because they still use 18 volt batteries and that's where i think milwaukee should go flex volt on the angle drill is so heavy i'd rather use a quarter yeah yeah that's um you know that that's kind of what it comes down to but, you know, like I said, to, for Milwaukee to stick with that 18-volt battery, because they know, they, I'm not saying that they care. They they want to make money like every, they have to make money. They got employees, they got everything. But I think they really thought of the, the people who have their tools, who are in their platform, that, hey, I don't want them to go out and get a whole new battery platform. You know, these 40-volt DeWalt's are 240 bucks. For a battery you know it's just unbelievable you can't use these outdoor power equipment tools with one battery that's the problem once while well, what's the runtime runtime means nothing because you should not have one battery so you know that this common sense um but you know and with the trimmer i use a lot of time i don't even use the nine amp hour batteries i use the five I want to keep it light. I get a half an hour with one of these. You know, I'm doing it, you know, five to ten minutes on each job. Then I'll slap a nine on. But a nine amp hour battery will get me through a day. And then I might have to put, you know, a five on towards the end of the day. But I got such a cool setup on my trailer with the DeWalt power station and my six bay Milwaukee charger. I got three nine amp hour batteries, three fives. And I'm telling you, man. It never has to leave my truck, my trailer. It's in my trailer, and it's ready to go. And the next day, the power station stays in there. Now, for three weeks, I still have two bars, and I actually have my Ego charge in there sometimes, too. I've done that probably three times. And, I mean, it, that power station is absolutely an amazing, amazing tool. It was the uh, best tool of 2016. Um, and it's come down in price a little bit, like everything does, um, you know, but I, I think what Milwaukee is going to do, who was that, uh, 2000 Nice? No, Andrew. Andrew Flickinger. That's a cool last name. Is that really your last name? Flickinger. All right, it's cool. Um, I think you're going to see, you know, a backpack blower with two 9 amp hour batteries, so it's going to be 36 volt. I think that's going to be coming. I think, you know, I'm going to be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in a week. And I'm going to see all the new tools that are coming out by Milwaukee. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You want to say by the bell? I'm so excited. Oh, Jesse Spano. But, um, yeah, I think they're going to come out with, I think, a handheld with two. And they're really, I think, going to blow it away with that blower when they come out with, you're using two of these. You don't need 36 volt. You know, you can come out, you know, they can come out with a backpack blower that uses, uh, what's that, 36, 52. Just put, the, you got to put three of these batteries on. Boom, boom, boom. And you know what? You're going to get maybe, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, that's the way to do it, man. I, I think Milwaukee is going to stay with this 18-volt platform. They tried it with the 28. It didn't go well. I think they kind of learned their lesson. Um, obviously DeWalt is not having any success with that 40 volt line. Um, 
I mean, they're selling some, and it's a great, great platform. I mean, they have that charger. It's it's a great outdoor platform, but again, it's just something that I don't think is worth the investment. Um, but, hey, Luigi, I was just actually talking about you. I got to mail this out to you tomorrow, my man. I've been running late. And you know what? I, I know I have your address, but I, I got to find it. I'll, I'll hit you up. If I can't find it. Because I think I was looking for it yesterday. I, I know it's there somewhere. I just got to find it. And then I'll have this out to you tomorrow morning. But Because I'm just about to do another one, Luigi. Now, Luigi, you're banned for a year. I still want you to watch, though, Luigi. Don't don't leave. Like that one guy. The one guy who won my first one. That rigid kit. He won. I've never seen him again. And that's... that's you know, when you do these... You know... Um, giveaways and that's what i feel bad about you know i got this guy gibbs john gibson i got the marcus i mean these guys have been with me from the beginning and you know somebody wins who um just happened to roll upon a tool boss video one day and uh that's the sad reality of life guys but all right, if there's not any more questions or anything, I appreciate you guys watching. Tomorrow, I'll have a video up with these two bad boys, and maybe we're going to do the fuel, 12-volt um, fuel. Hey, Jay, what's up, my man? Thanks for catching in. Jay Filet. You're French, right, Jay? You live in the States, but I bet you have some French in you. Um, but... Any questions, anything you want to say that you guys, you know, like I said, it's a hangout. You guys want to talk about anything that you just bought. Like I said, I try to get the, and oh yeah, guys, uh, pretty cool. I seen a DeWalt case. What was that? What a, when are you getting the new DeWalt? Yeah, you know why I mentioned that? Because I was just saying, you know, this is kind of a older impact, Luigi. It's, it's been out probably over three years now. Um... They might have updated it again. I, I'm I'm not sure, but it's pretty much basically the same impact, and a lot of new stuff has come out. But still, nothing beats. Uh, you know, the reason why it's out is if you missed it. Well, you can watch the Luigi later. But do you think Milwaukee would do any changes to the 12 volt line? Will they change the torpedo? I don't know. I don't know. That's a very good question, Caravaggio. It seems like everyone is kind of getting out of the, the uh, torpedo. You know, I'm so surprised. But, you you know, once, you know, the big thing real quick is, you know, the new Ryobi batteries are going to be coming out. And they, um, here. You know, I have all these great impact. And that's the thing too, guys. You know, I have the mid-torque and I have all these impacts. You know, I still use like four diff four tools every day and that's it i use this impact driver i use my dewalt drill and my De 885 dewalt and that's the three kind of tools i use you know I, I use these for certain times but i don't use them every day like this is what i use every day so um you know but anyway uh the for one key. Yeah, I got the one key, man. This thing's uh, pretty good. Uh, but anyway, they're new 9 amp hour batteries. You know, this... I bet you a million dollars Ryobi wishes that, you know, this is kind of a torpedo style battery. It's just, obviously, it's an 18 volt. But, you know, I, I'm there's nothing they can do they have so many tools out for Ryobi to change the torpedo style I think everybody I think there'd be a riot at your Home Depot so you know when um, who asked me that Caravaggio 16 I don't know see but you know what it's really what you have to think about if they're gonna do it they kinda have to still make these batteries and then come out kinda like what Flexvolt's doing so it, it can be done. I mean, Makita just did it with their 12-volt line. But Makita, the, their 12-volt line is... I mean, these are freaking... Ryobi are everywhere. They're so popular. So just a huge, huge, huge platform. Um, you know, it'd probably be a riot at the Home Depot if they changed...
this torpedo style went to a slide on like like this but it can be done and eventually Ryobi's gonna kind of have to I don't say have to but I don't know I mean their their whole new batteries their their six amp hour their new three amp hour it's it's the torpedo so so yeah I I don't know uh, Caravaggio if they would change uh, it's fine I mean they just came out with a six amp hour battery um, you know, I think the torpedoes are the best when they're, you know, the two amp hour, the three amp hour to 1.5. Once they start getting like that flat, you know, the four amp hour battery, if I had one here, I could show you, but you know what I'm talking about. The, the four amp hour, the six amp hour, I think they're you know, not as... Um, compact they're not as small again once you you know the, the torpedo style works great for 12 volt um in these smaller batteries but once you get them to the four and to the six and you got the torpedo then you got this big flat square you know again you're using these 12 volts to be light compact and not take up space i mean and this thing is heavy. Does anybody have this? Guys, come on. Now, I like it. And it, it feels like an 18-volt tool. And it has the power of kind of like one of the older 18-volt drills. Um, but this thing is so heavy. And this is only with a 1.5-amp-hour battery. So once you slap, you know, a 4-amp-hour battery on this um, drill driver, this hammer drill, um, you know... It kind of loses its purpose to a degree. I mean, just get an 18 volt where you're going to get a lot more power. So, like I said, the whole point to 12 volt, some tools work, some tools don't work. You get it? But, what do we got? I don't have it yet, but tomorrow is a new day. Yeah, I love the 1 4th extra. I have the fuel hammer drill. It's a bit heavy. Yeah, Jay, oh, you have it? Yeah, it's, it's heavy, man. This thing is not light by any means. I mean... Jeez, here. You know what? Check this out, guys. I might have done this video already. But, alright. So we got live. Live scale here. So you're looking at almost 3 pounds with a 1.5 amp hour battery. Almost 3 pounds. Okay, for the fuel, 12 volt. Now this is with a 1.5. You put a four, you're looking at three and a half pounds. All right. So compare that. Now, this is a hammer drill. You got the hammer mechanism, but obviously this is a lot more powerful right here. You got more torque. And this with a 1.5 amp hour battery is, I mean, you're looking at almost a pound. But, you know, probably 25% lighter when you, if you would do it percentage-wise. So it's 25% lighter, this impact. And, again, a lot more torque. So, you know, that's what you kind of got to think about. I mean, that was, you know, what, what does this weigh? What does the impact? Oh. You know, this is only a pound. Obviously, there's not a battery on it. But I'll tell you what. You take this battery off. I mean, this is probably not. I mean, but probably looking at like a pound, man. So, it, it, it's heavy is what my point is. Um, when Ryobi bringing out more amp hour. When are, hey, Abel. What's going on, my man? Is the weight of the chuck that makes it so heavy? Uh, yeah. It is. It's a heavy duty. Definitely, it's the uh, it's the, it's the uh, chuck. No doubt about it. Um, you know, with their brushed version, it's not that light, and it's a heavy. You know, this has been a great tool for me. I've done a lot of work with this 12 volt. I was doing a lot of sheds with this one um, two summers ago, but um, you know, 
it's it, it's this is a nice drill. Oh, nice point to it. Um, I don't know. Hey, what's up, Abel? I don't know. Just compared an impact to a hammer that Chucks makes up a lot of weight. Yeah, I'm, my point is obviously that the hammer drill and the impact driver, which is look at the size difference. There's nothing you can't do really with this. Obviously, this has a hammer mechanism, but most of the people who were really buying a hammer drill, you're not going to buy a 12-volt hammer drill. I mean, I don't know. It, it's up to you. But my point being, these impacts, not only is it 25% less, but you're getting 1,200 inch-pounds of torque compared to this, which probably has, I don't know, 600 700 i don't know what the 12 volt has someone can look it up hey jared oh, i appreciate that buddy i love you too man i do um that's kind of what my point is um obviously with any drill drills way more than impacts obviously because of the whole chuck situation but that's what my point was but uh, let me get that. Did you do a review on the Ryobi Impact? Oh, yeah. I have a couple of them on this. Um, this thing has been phenomenal. But what's the other M12 way, Elliot? What one you want? What, uh, the, the brushed version? This one? What is this way? That weighs a hell of a lot less than that one. Um, two point... Now, I should put the battery on, because I did put... You know what? I'll take the battery off. So, what do we got here? 2 pounds, 3.5 ounces. 2 pounds, 3.5 ounces. And then we got this. 2 pounds, 8 ounces. So, you're probably looking at 18% probably 18 percent um you know it's heavier by 18 percent but you're getting a hammer mechanism with this so you know my point is you know this is a 12 volt tool and it's weighing you know three pounds with a 1.5 amp hour battery so you know is it worth the extra half an ounce to have an 18 volt now I'm probably even, you know, this has seven, I don't even know if it has anywhere near 700 inch pounds. I was just thinking in my head, I don't know what it has. If someone wants to look that up, I think, you know, that's the point of it too. You know, Milwaukee's groundbreaking with a lot of this stuff, man. I mean, they're the only ones, I think, in the whole 12 volt to have a hammer drill. Um, so, I give them a lot of props for that. I give them a lot of props for everything, man. You know, sticking with that 18 volt is the big thing with me. But, um, yeah, I have a lot of, you know, this, when I really do some high applications with this, you know, I just had to work on my trailer. I had to tighten down, you know, my racks. It'll, I have to take the battery out and put it back in. So there's something going on with the short in here, but it still works for the most part fairly well. And it's what I use. It's beat up. And once it goes, then I'll pick something else. And once my DeWalt impact, my DeWalt drill driver, then I'll pick something else. But the M12 fuel hammer drill has 300 feet. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking saying that. So where's my man who was talking about that? What was his name? Jay Filet? I don't know. Yeah, Jay Filet. So Jay Filet, you still there? 1,200 inch pounds. 350 inch pounds of torque again not a big deal it's great um um it, that they even offer this and a, a well-built solid hammer drill it's awesome but you gotta that my, that's what my point was not only is it 25 percent more weight what's the m12 fuel impact way uh you have to look that up it's some, I'm not looking for that sucker. That's probably underneath my evolution miter saw. I still got to put all this shit back, but 
So that's kind of what you got to think about, boys. Um, you know, not talk about the hammer drill and the impact, but if the 12 volt is going to work for you, does it make sense? You know, it has to make sense. Now, for the guys here watching, these 18 guys that are watching right now, everything I said means absolutely nothing because you're like me. If it comes out, you're buying it no matter what. That's our shit. We don't collect stamps. We don't. Uh, well, I golf like a son of a bitch, but, uh, we don't, um, collect baseball cards. We don't get our nails done. 12 hour size speakers or lights. Yeah, that's what they are, bro. Perfectly said, Elliot. They are complements of your 18 volt tools or your flex volt tools. You know, you're going to nail... Your your kid just uh, won MVP in his baseball league. You want to hang a picture of him up in his room. You don't need. You grab your little 12 volt. But the, the the technology is getting so fast, so quick. It's expanding. I mean, 1,200 inch pounds, and in something this small. It's it's it is incredible, boys. And again, I don't want it to say. Obviously, there's a there's a size difference here. But lengthwise, you know, again, you got to slap a battery on this still too. A big battery. And that's where you're going to notice it. You're going to notice it in weight mostly. Weight, weight, weight with 12 volt. It's all about weight. Not really size. So that's what I want you to get out of that whole little comparison. It's weight over size, over length and everything. Robert... Roger, seems like a waste. I agree, why not get a 12-volt hammer? Yeah, when it comes to certain tools, it's just, you know. Um, you know, and like I said, man, uh, Robert, this is a great tool. And I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of success with this. Because, you know, 350 inch-pounds, you know, a lot of drills, like five years ago, had 400 inch-pounds. 350, 250. You know, this DeWalt right here. This is this DeWalt just came out, Robert, and this has around 300 inch pounds of torque. So it's not that this doesn't have power. That's not what I want you to get out of this. It's not. The fact is, it's a hammer drill. So most hammer drills have around 500 to 700 inch pounds. So the fact that this has 350 is actually a great accomplishment. It, it's it's not really about. The Milwaukee hammer drill. It's about the hammer drill um, altogether. Like my my point is, you know, besides that hammer mechanism, like if you need a hammer mechanism, you know, you're doing drywall, you know, sheetrock, whatever. You know, you got to have a hammer drill. But again, that's like ninety percent of the people don't. And my I, what I always say is, if you're gonna get a drill, you might as well get a hammer drill, have that hammer mechanism in it. But I'm a big I'm a big proponent of the impact driver now. Like I said, I'm not saying by any means that the drills are going away and people, they're obsolete. I'm not really saying that, but a lot of the impact driver today with all the accessories to them, you know, you can use spade bits, you can use drill bits now, they're impact ready. And, you know, you can put a socket on, I mean, you could put a socket on a drill too, but I mean, you're not getting any type of power, but it's just a more versatile tool and you can kind of almost do everything that a drill can do with an impact now. That's what my point is. Yeah, I got to do that video, Caravaggio. Have you tried the new Ryobi brushless hammer drill? No, I haven't. <clears throat> I haven't gotten a new Ryobi tool, uh, Abel in a long time but the last tool I got was this um, <clears throat> right here and this I just got back from the shop I used it again after I got it back from the shop they fixed it I told you the story about this but um awesome but it does have its flaws you know if you have obviously if you're using any type of uh, cork silicone if some of it comes out, it will get into the motor. It's not really, I, when I got this fixed, they said, yeah, that's kind of, 
the whole deal with the Ryobi. But if you keep it clean, it's a great, great cork gun. And I've been using it. I use it all the time. Great. Roadside Dan, what's up, my man? I haven't heard from you, man. Oh, I love that dog. Bass, I want a basset hound. So bad. I would love to get a basset hound, man. I just got this stinking cat. There's freaking cats everywhere. She's probably on my pillow right now. I got all goddamn cat hair on the goddamn pillow. I, I had the backpack. I blew, I blew at it yesterday. You should have seen her run. Now, she's a good cat, but she was on my pillow. I had this upstairs, and then, oh, she took off like a bat out of hell. You love, I do love that cat. I never thought I can love a cat. She's almost like a dog. She's very dog-like. Very, very dog-like. When we're outside, she has to be outside with us. You know, it's, uh, she jumps in a car. It's a freaking, she waits out the window, you know, but... She does with snakes and uh, Elliot uh, chipmunks. We have a little chipmunk call. She kills two chipmunks a day every day. She's at the point that she knows we don't like it. So she doesn't really kill it. She brings it up to the back door while it's still alive and she won't let it leave until we come out and see it. And then we got to, you know, pick her up. But uh, yeah, she's a good cat. Cats are great. I never thought I'd like a cat. I never really thought about it. I kind of had them growing up. But I never really, because we had a dog too, but they're great animals. And they're very smart. I never thought they are as smart as uh, they are. But, all right, you don't want to hear about cats. Same family as lions. Yep, that's very true. All right, guys, hour and six minutes. It was a great time. I appreciate everyone who watched. And, um, you know, you have any comments after this video is done, I'll answer them the best to my abilities. But I want to thank you guys for coming in and watching. I love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Halloween. Labor Day. Memorial Day. Fourth of July. Have a great evening. Caravaggio. Roadside Dan. Elliot. Caravaggio again. Roadside. Abel. Joe Montague. My man. Joe, I missed you. I didn't see you. Uh, Joe is my uh, buddy from... Uh, Instagram. He's very big on Instagram. He is like me. If you like kind of just, he has so much stuff. Um, Jay Filet, appreciate Robert Rogers. Beantown Boy. Tony from Mi M Mr. Tidem No Scope. 2000 C Nice. Uh, Jared Beck. I love you, buddy. I'm just going through, make sure I mention everybody. Jason Jordan, love you. My man Jamie, he's probably gone. He was on in the beginning. Steve Jobs, brother, appreciate you stopping by. Luigi Martinez. Andrew Flickinger, love that name, Flickinger. Jamie Jacoda, my man. And Kevin Perez. Yeah, that's about it. Nightbird. Nightbird. Jim Bush. Carl B. Gideon. Nick H. Deep. Six Leatherworks. Mitchell. Schematic. Hectic Ascend, Mitchell. All right, I got everybody. But seriously, guys, appreciate you you coming in. And um, all right, my oh Mike, hey Mike Bell, yeah you can why hey, nothing great. Oh Andrew Flickinger's still here. Oh there's Joe. Yeah, like I said, Joe's a cool dude, man. Luigi, I'm gonna get this out to you tomorrow. I might comment on the video if I lost your thing there. Roadside Dan, great guy too. All you guys. All right, boys. I'll catch you on the next one tomorrow. I'll have this up, and and we'll see what what the performance difference is like, and kind of what is. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. We'll see if it's worth. Again, ninety nine dollars. You're getting this now. It might be one twenty nine now, but I guarantee you, this combo kit with a bag too 
And I like the bag better than this hard case. You know, you can just fit more in it. Now, I think this isn't the same bag that you get, but it's very similar to this bag. Um, hey, Mitchell. Yeah, man, I mentioned you, brother. But, um, you know, 99 bucks, two batteries, and a drill driver for 99 179 for just this, two batteries and a charger. And a hard case. So, yeah, Joe. Joe's a big Makita guy. He's like me. Um, I think he's just like me. He's a big Makita and Milwaukee guy. I don't know if he's into the DeWalt as much. I'm not into really DeWalt that much. I'd probably put them fourth. Yeah, I'd put them fourth out of the big five. Now, that's not saying that they're not number one. But I, I'm talking about just my opinion, comfortability. Um, you know, and sometimes, you know what, you just don't like it for no rhyme or reason. You just like something better. Uh, you know, they don't make anything bad, really. It's just, I don't, I'm, I don't know. You know, I don't like Chevy. I like Dodge. I like Ford, too, but it's expensive for that shit. But, all right. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.